This week is all about setting memories. Isaiah's playing against the Atlanta Falcons, and it's the last game in the Georgia Dome. The Georgia Dome has had so many great memories from when Michael Vick was there to even earlier. So Isaiah says, you know what? I'm telling my teammates now, I'm going to make this a memorable performance. I don't know if I'm going to set a record. I'm going to do something crazy. But we're going to make sure that the Falcons always remember that Isaiah played here in the very last home game for the Falcons. Looking at Isaiah's stats, we're an 89 overall so far. We're boosting up a whole lot of different attributes because you know what? We're almost at playoff time. Isaiah now is a 90 overall after that stat boost, just shy of 1,500 yards in the season. We're trying to make sure that we can get that MVP. Ramon Atkins is having a career year so far. You'll see his stats in just a moment. But Isaiah wants to make sure that he gets that MVP trophy this year and hopefully that Super Bowl trophy as well. Now Isaiah's first return is good for 14 yards. Nothing crazy, but good enough for a field position. Looking at Ramon's stats, you can see nearly 70% completion rate, 4,000 yards almost in the season, 31 TDs, 10 interceptions. And we have about two or three games left. So Ramon... He's on top of his game, so Isaiah needs some big performances if he wants to take home that MVP trophy this year. Now, the first time Isaiah gets the ball on offense, he goes for a first down and a little bit more there, 13 yards on that carry. We got third and 10 on the 46. Isaiah's down on the left-hand side. He catches it, but he, he falls down, and the refs say that he gave up on the play. So they say we don't get a first, and Isaiah can't believe it. That's a bonehead play, a rookie mistake. You can't do that in year number five. Second and 14, Isaiah's trying to make up for it. Trucks a defender and spins off of him, almost gets the first down, but they stop him just short sure of the first down line. Now third and two, halfback toss the left-hand side, Isaiah's got some room, got a guy to miss, he stumbles, Isaiah jukes back inside, three defenders are lost, Isaiah's out of the edge, one guy in front of him, can he get past him? He can't, he stopped just short of the 20-yard line, but look at how disgusting this juke was, put three defenders on skates, 29 and 98, ran into each other, this Falcons defense... They're on the struggle bus right now because Isaiah is putting on a show. Now on first and 10 on the 11, halfback toss to Isaiah. Good block on the edge there, but Isaiah can't do anything with it. Gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more yards. And he's open here on the left-hand side, but Ramon Atkins, the left-handed QB, says, you know what, I found somebody who is a little bit more wide open and can probably score here. He finds Ellison, our good tight end, who falls down and doesn't like the disrespect of the guy tripping him after he caught that. And look at this right in his face. He says, you know what, Curse? Don't disrespect me. So fourth and ten, about a minute thirty left here. Isaiah's fielding a punt way back in his territory. Good blocking so far. Isaiah to the edge, twenty-four can't get him. Next guy can't get him. Isaiah's got some room. Passes the linebacker, one guy to beat, and Isaiah puts on the Jets to go into the end zone, wearing those white cleats today, and he's looking like Jimmy White Shoes Johnson. Goes all the way to the end zone, giving us a fourteen to nothing score. But wait. Atlanta can't do anything on offense again, and they punt the ball to Isaiah instead of kicking out of bounds. That's going to be a mistake, so we break a tackle, break two tackles, make another guy miss. Isaiah's got the punter in front of him. The punter has no chance of getting him. Isaiah walks into the end zone again, breaks multiple tackles on that play to go to the house. Hasn't scored on offense yet, but he's put up two touchdowns on special teams so far. Now, a nasty spin move there, but it looks like there's going to be a holding penalty. So, number 70... What are you doing? You can't have holding penalties when I gets, Isaiah gets big plays like that. So in third and 18, we need a whole lot of yards to make up for this. Isaiah's going to throw a good block here in the edge. Ramon Atkins gets sacked, but wait, there's a flag on this play too. Isaiah was actually blocking J.J. Watt there, who's actually on the Falcons now, which is crazy. And they call holding on Isaiah, so Isaiah tells his teammate he can't do something. And then the next play, Isaiah does the exact same thing. So we get the ball back with under three minutes left. Isaiah to the outside, a few yards here, but he's caught up by a few defenders. Second and seven with under two minutes. Isaiah's wide open on the left-hand side. Ramon Atkins doesn't throw it to him, but he finds somebody else who's wide open. Ellison actually got hurt early in the game. Our backup tight end comes in the game, and number 44 gets his first career touchdown reception. A memorable game so far for the Jags. For the Falcons, though, they might want to forget this because right now it's not looking too good for them in their very last home game in the Georgia Dome. Now Isaiah up the middle, sheds a tackle, and gets taken down there. 28-6 to right now after Atlanta's field goal. 35, Isaiah on the halfback screen. Got some room. Blockers can't really do anything for him, but he breaks another tackle, stays in bounds enough to keep the clock moving, keep the misery a little bit at the minimum for the for the Falcons. Now Isaiah, what is he doing? He gets hit, he sheds it, he throws it. They say it's a touchdown. Isaiah throws his first career passing touchdown, people. He scored in every way imaginable. Rushing, receiving, punt return, kick return, and now Isaiah sheds a block or sheds a tackle, throws it deep. Brandon LaFell climbs a ladder, gets that one there on Desmond Trufant or Marcus Trufant, and he scores the touchdown. So we're up 35 to 6. This is a ridiculous game. Isaiah so far has two punt return for touchdowns. He has a passing touchdown, 
This team is just clicking on all cylinders. If you have your best running back uh, out there throwing passing touchdowns, you know things are going well for your squad. So second and one, Isaiah to the outside. Good blocking so far. The juke doesn't really do much, but it picks up some more yard for him. He's now over 100 on the day, which is obviously the milestone that we want to hit every single game. Now, Ramon Atkins... It was a little slighted because Isaiah threw a touchdown pass, so he gets one of his own there, hitting Dante Moncrief for a streak down the right-hand side. Moncrief's going to score that one. He comes back and bounds and dances a little bit. A little bit disrespectful, but you know what? We blow out the Falcons today. Most importantly, we get the win. Matt Ryan, I don't know what happened with him. He only threw five passes today. Isaiah threw one pass. It was a perfect day for him. 18 yards and a touchdown for passing. 107 on the ground. What a way to close out the very last game in the Georgia Dome. Now, hopefully, we can keep it going in the playoffs. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Hit the like button to share your support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.